When I was a kid, I remember hearing the tale about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. In this story, Goldilocks happens upon the home of three bears, and once inside, she eats their food. The problem is that some of the food is too hot and some is too cold, but there are some that is just right. She then has the same problem with their beds, and after the first bed is too hard and the second bed is too soft, she finally finds the bed that is just right. For years, scientists have been using this story as an analogy to explain Venus, Earth, and Mars. The planets on either side of Earth are inhabitable. Venus is way too hot and the air pressure is too high. For example, on the surface of Venus, the air temperature approaches 900 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. And the atmospheric pressure is about 100 times that of Earth. On Mars, the air pressure is just 1% of that of Earth's. And it is so cold there that all the water is either frozen or in vapor form. But tucked in the middle is Earth, which is teeming with life. In this first video lecture, we want to learn why. Well, there are several reasons that make life possible on Earth, and we're going to start with the oceans. Humans are incredibly fragile beings, and without the protection of shelter and clothes, we would not be able to survive the temperature range on Earth. The globally average surface temperature is 59 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 15 degrees Celsius, but the range in temperature experienced on Earth has dipped below minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit and well above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the important aspects of this temperature range and average is the water in the Earth's system has remained unfrozen throughout much of Earth's history. There are numerous planets with large quantities of water, but due to the cold temperatures and extreme variations in air pressure, this water is locked into a solid state, which is ice, or the gas phase, which is water vapor. On Earth, much of the surface is covered in oceans, which serve as a vast reservoir for liquid water. Earth's oceans play three vital roles in maintaining a habitable planet. 1. The oceans serve as a large reservoir of carbon dioxide. This helps to balance the amount that is in the atmosphere. By balancing the amount that's in the atmosphere, this in turn regulates the temperature of the Earth by moderating the greenhouse effect. 2. Under the protection of water, simple bacteria were shielded from deadly UV sunlight and able to thrive in the oceans millions of years ago. These anaerobic bacteria consumed CO2 and produced oxygen, which allowed oxygen levels to rise in the Earth's atmosphere. The third reason, water has a very high heat capacity and therefore has a high resistance to change in temperature. Since much of the planet is covered in water, the presence of these large oceans help to moderate the global climate and prevent it from experiencing large swings in temperature. The second reason is the distance between the Earth and the Sun and the composition of the atmosphere. The Earth-Sun distance and the composition of the Earth's atmosphere have together played an important role in moderating Earth's climate and making this planet habitable. Earth is approximately 93 million miles from the Sun, that's about 150 million kilometers, and at this distance the amount of energy that reaches the Earth has spread out considerably. At present, the sun bathes the top of the atmosphere with about 1,370 watts per square meter, and that's only found where the sun's rays are direct. Nearly half of this energy is absorbed by the surface of the Earth and used to warm the planet, while the other half is either reflected back by clouds and bright surfaces or absorbed by the atmosphere. As the Earth attempts to radiate the energy it has just absorbed from the sun back to space, the same gases that allow the sunlight into the Earth's system prevent much of it from going back out to space and escaping, and that energy is what is used to keep our planet warm. These gases are called greenhouse gases since they are able to keep the Earth warmer than it would have been without an atmosphere. The third idea is plate tectonics. The Earth's mantle serves as a vast reservoir of many of the elements that currently make up the gases in the atmosphere. Active plate tectonics and continual volcanism have allowed for the constant replenishment of gases in the Earth's atmosphere. Outgassing from these volcanoes has provided the atmosphere much of its nitrogen, water vapor, and carbon dioxide. The fourth reason is that we have an active hydrological cycle. Water is the only substance in the atmosphere that naturally exists in all three phases. The concentration of water in the atmosphere is in a delicate but well-managed balance where the supply to the atmosphere is balanced by precipitation. This balance, called the hydrological cycle, exists because water naturally occurs in all three phases given the temperature range that the Earth experiences. For comparison, Mars has water, 
but due to the low air pressure and extreme temperatures, all of this water is locked into the ice or gas phase. Earth's moderate temperature range and higher surface air pressure supports an active hydrological cycle. Fifth, we have large outer planets in our solar system. The last time a major, life-changing event occurred on Earth was approximately 65 million years ago, when the Earth was more than likely hit by a large asteroid. The result of this impact ended the reign of the dinosaur, which caused mass extinction of many species. When large objects collide with Earth, the collision ejects debris, ash, soot, and dust into the atmosphere, which dramatically alters the Earth's energy balance and temperature. These events are rare, thanks in large part to Jupiter. Massive outer planets like Jupiter and Saturn serve as a gravitational pull on many of these large asteroids that might have otherwise intersected Earth's orbit. This effectively spares Earth from frequent bombardment by large space debris. Sixth, we have a moon. The Earth's seasons are a direct result of the tilt of the Earth on its axis. As the Earth orbits the Sun, the tilt changes the directness of the Sun's rays and length of day, effectively controlling the annual temperature range for all locations. Currently this tilt is 23.5 degrees, but it can vary from 22.5 to 24.5 degrees. This range is kept in check by the presence of a large nearby moon. The range of the tilt would be significantly larger if we had no moon, which would lead to much more dramatic annual temperature variations. Essentially, the presence of the moon moderates the Earth's climate by limiting the variability in the Earth's tilt. Finally, let's talk about day versus night. It is common knowledge that the length of day on Earth is approximately 24 hours, but most do not realize the importance of this time interval. The rotational speed of the Earth at the equator is approximately 1,018 miles an hour, and at this speed the length of the day and night are limited. This rapid rotation effectively regulates the daily variation in temperature on Earth and prevents dramatic swings between day and night. So you can see that there are several reasons why Earth is a habitable planet, but the core reasons are these seven.